it's pretty much summertime. You can tell because the heat is on, but also more and more folks are getting out on the road, whether they're traveling for vacation to the beach or just wherever there are more folks on the road. David Green is here to talk to us about staying safe on the road this summer. David, great to see you as always. Great to have you over. So we always want everyone to have a great summer out there, but sometimes the increased traffic can lead to increased accidents. Let's talk a little bit about this. Well, absolutely. There are so many more people on the roadway. <clears throat> as a matter of fact, July 4th is the deadliest day on the roads. Wow. So very, very important to understand that you need to keep a lookout for people. Keep plan your trips. Do some things that are going to make it so you're not in the, the crowd. Well, you mentioned July 4th there, so let's talk about that and then we'll kind of backtrack. July 4th, I assume that a lot of that is either distracted driving or drinking and driving accidents. Well, that's exactly right. We see so much of that. You'd be surprised at how many cases we see where someone's texting and driving. Uh, and we can easily get that information. We can subpoena those records and have that information. Uh, obviously, alcohol, drugs, that type of thing. There are so many people partying and playing and not paying attention and hitting and hurting people. We see that all too often. Well, and just in general, you know, we're all wondering how much travel will be done this summer. A lot of folks still going to the beaches and stuff, but the classic old school road trip, if a family is preparing for that or even just heading to the beach, what should they do to their car before they get started? Well, I can always remember my dad. He was a retired paper mill worker, and so he was always going to take care of things and make sure you had air in the tires, yep. check for your fluids, make sure your windshield wipers worked, make sure your safety equipment, all the lighting, make sure the lights work. And that's a simple thing. You can check it before you leave your home, and that can really save your life if you're in a problem. If your blinkers don't work and you're off the roadway, yeah. it'll make sure people can see you. So very important. Well, relative to that tire pressure too, it can change the way you brake in case of a possible accident. And so that can truly be life saving. Absolutely. That can make a huge difference in you being able to stop if someone pulls out in front of you or something of that nature. Okay. In the unfortunate incident that someone is involved in a wreck or an accident during the summer travel season, what do they need to know? Well, first thing you need to make sure that you call the authorities. 911 should be called. Uh, police officers or state troopers are going to come out, write a report, do an investigation, and that's going to be key to your claim or your case to make sure you have a report. That's very, very important. Seek medical treatment and then call a local law firm like Green and Phillips or many of the other local law firms that can help you that are familiar with this environment here and understand what to do. All right, so you mentioned call, so that's one way. What are the ways that can contact y'all here at Green and Phillips? It's very easy. You can come by 51 North Florida Street. You never need an appointment at Green and Phillips or call us at 300-2000. All right, have a safe summer out on the roads, y'all, but if the worst does happen, you can always call Green and Phillips and the folks here to help you out and answer any questions you may have. David, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming over.